Hello and welcome to Abano News. Uh, the prices are out for the um, activities of the uh, 24th Festival del Abano and um, the major distributors have already started uh, to get the registration. I've already registered and I paid uh, for the uh, festival to join the activities. There's a big demand and uh, here are the prices uh, and as you can see I've compared them with the prices of 2023 and the prices are up 22%. That is obviously more than inflation and you can see the details uh the welcome evening is about 16 percent up uh plantation visit 20 uh, percent international seminar just about the same there are three evenings uh, the monday the wednesday and the gala uh, the gala is about 20 percent more also and the auctions is two hundred is uh 100% up, 110% uh, up. It doesn't really matter. They could put $1,000 because the guys over there during the auctions are spending close to $1 million. So they could put the price at $1,000 or even $10,000. It wouldn't make any change, uh, any difference. So as far as registering for you, you contact your a local distributor if you are in the US uh, it's very complicated you have to wait until Abanos has their um, uh, registration open that's when uh, they get all the registrations from all the uh, distributors worldwide and then they decide to sell uh, some uh, remaining tickets So, if you can, you have to uh, first register for the event, then you have to book a hotel, then you have to book a flight. Um, so, the event costs about $4,000 now. Uh, hotel, about $200 and $250 a night, up to even more um, if you get a, a bigger room. Uh, it can be a 20 30 40 dollars in a bed and breakfast and then the flight depending on you know obviously where you are and you have to don't forget you have to um register a bit like the esta to go to the us you have to register online and uh, inform uh, cuba that you will be arriving on which flight and do the customs declaration on top of that so there's a limit on what cash you can bring Remember also that there is very limited that you can spend in cash. Uh, you need credit cards to buy cigars. You have to pay them with the credit cards and US credit cards do not work. UK credit cards do not work. Um, so it is complicated for American people because once they get there, uh, you can pay your room in, in cash, uh, in US dollars. Uh, but then it will be difficult for you to buy stuff or even pay your hotel if you can't pay it online. If you book it online and pay it online, it's fine. Once you're there, it's very difficult. So usually you handle, you ask someone who has a car that works, you pay him cash and you compensate if it's possible. But I know like uh, last year, a lot of American people, uh, there's a lot of American people coming uh, to the festival, but a lot of them were, were struggling with the American credit cards. So Amex doesn't work, uh, whatever country you're from. Um, and uh, all American issued cards, cards do not work. So you can have a Visa or MasterCard from Switzerland, Germany, they will work, uh, they should work, uh, but all uh, American issued cards do not work. So um, prices are up 22% this year. Uh, I'm going to make a video about the uh, new 1st of January prices in uh, Havana, Cuba, because the list is out. Prices are up again, also Cuban cigars. 
So um, yeah, inflation uh, prices are up again. Just before I stop smoking an INS number three, and I'm uh, drinking some uh, four square patrimonio Barbados. This still in 2004, bottle in 2019. So it's soon going to be a 20 year old rum, 58 degrees. It's a very strong rum. Goodbye.